So, okay, um, what happened was he fucked with me early this morning. I already got a video up about that. Um, he fucked with me when he left at about 1130 uh, a.m. this morning as he was leaving. Then he came home tonight and right behind my wall right here, boom, boom, punched my wall as he was going into his room. Didn't say nothing. I called down to the landlady. I texted Brian Burkett. Now, listen to this. When I when the landlady comes up to ask me what the hell is going on, watch this. He, he literally threatens me to two more times on camera. And, of course, nobody's going to do nothing about it, right? Terroristic threats. Well, I'm talking to the landlady in my room. He comes out and starts with us. I'm harassing him now. I'm harassing him now. He comes out of his room harassing us. I have the full tape when you want to see it, though. I'm just recording this for now. I paid my fucking rent and he's pissed off that I'm still here. That's what this is all about. Because I think he wants to deal drugs out of here or, or have parties here. Do, do what he wants. Because I don't, I don't bother this man. He's coming to me, knocking on my door, or, you know, knocking on my door handle, the wall, banging his wall. Waking me up. When he comes in, waking me up when he leaves. Can't, and, and he threatens me right on camera here, and you wonder why I don't want to use the bathroom and get caught naked in the bathroom in the shower or, or on the on the john because of this fucking nut. I was going to call Brian and have him see if he can meet me here tomorrow. That's what I'm telling her. To get down to the police with me about this guy. Well, here comes Fazio. I got it. I got it on. I got it on video. I got it on. I got it on video. I'm going to show He just threatened me there. See that? I'm not talking to him, I'm talking to the landlady. I'm tired of his shit. I'm tired of him. She 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 was in my room. Oh, I was Literally, in the room, she, the landlady was standing, right, you can't even see, but she was standing right here. I was standing there. We had the door uh, open at first. He pushed his way through, said he had to go to the bathroom. Did, never went to the bathroom. Turned around, threatened me, came back down the hallway. We shut the door at that point, and I finished telling her about, uh, I wanted to call Brian Burkett and uh, get him to bring me down to the police tomorrow about this guy, because he, he's done nothing but harass me since I moved in here. He's targeted me, threatened me, stalked me, all this shit. Uh, like I said, two, two, uh, two Sundays ago, he followed me to church again. I had to go out back of the church and talk to the church people because he was indoors waiting for me. He wants to beat me up in the street and he's, he's waiting for an encounter in the street. Um, uh, I, I stayed there for a little while, and then after he left, after he was done eating lunch, preventing me from eating lunch and getting my therapy because the head pastor is a therapist and, and the congregation members help you out, and, you know, there's just support there. But I can't get it because of this, this nut. Uh, been, been with this church for 15 years, got married there. They know me. I, hel I held a position for a little while there. I was training to be a deacon there. But, of course, it's his church. He can go where he wants. He does whatever he wants. So, uh, yeah, he threatens me again when he comes down to the end of the hallway. I'm going to beat you up. I'll see you in the street, pussy, or something like that, he says. Uh, the landlady heard all this. She was standing right here. Uh, you could hear her voice in the tape, too. And then he, he says, I'm, uh, if you don't shut him up, I'm gonna, uh, I am going to beat him up or something like that. And she's trying to get him back in his room. And that's when I said, you know, yo, we were in a conversation. 
you came out and harassed us. Stay the fuck in your room. Nobody's talking to you. And you, you heard him say, well, oh, 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 he's got to say shit to me. Nobody's saying anything to him. When he does his little shit, I say, oh, baby, you, he needs some hugs. He must not have got attention off his mommy when he, when he does shit to me because I'm not holding back no more. After seven months of this fucking nut, I've had enough. Somebody needs to do something. So I'm trying to piss him off as much as he's pissing me off. But he needs to leave me alone. He, he hasn't from day one. Josh Schnell will tell you he's targeted me from the beginning. I've just recently now stopped taking it. The cops won't do shit. They, they told me I was uh, abusing 911 if I call again. Probation, well, here we, here we sit. And he's still running the streets. You know, I, I wonder if they're giving this guy urines because he's coming home every other day. You know, one day he's normal like a human being. The next he's nuts. He's got to be doing meth, something. Something's wrong with this man or drinking something. Fucking outrageous.